Greetings, today I am checking out the Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray. Alright, here is then the Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray. So there are three things to highlight about this product. Graphene, ceramic and spray. So ceramic coatings have established themselves in recent years as being the ultimate in protection. Um, but graphene is the latest thing. It's coming onto the market. It is taking on ceramic to some degree. Um, but what we're seeing here is a combination of both. So best of both worlds. So combining them together should give excellent protection and excellent depth of gloss and then the third thing this fact that this is a spray you can see that it is a liquid so it will spray that is super duper handy and that is opposed to applying it in a different way such as a hard or paste wax style of application um, this will be much quicker much easier so i have waited until the car is nice and dirty uh, so i'm going to get it cleaned up first of course i need to apply it to a clean car um, i'm not going to like go through the whole cleaning process but it is going to be exactly the same as the last detailing video that i did snow foam pre-wash rinse it all down then shampoo contact wash rinse it down and dry and then once i have done that i will check back in with you and we will get to using the shine armor graphene ceramic spray all right there we go i have applied the snow foam just letting that dwell and then i'll move on to the contact clean as i said if you do want to check out this process in more detail i will put a link um, to the previous video up above and also down in the description box below but yeah for this video we are skipping right past this so that we can get to the shine armor all right time for the contact clean um we've got it nicely rinsed off from the snow foam i mean you can already see that um i don't have very much in the way of hydrophobic properties right now um i will do like once i've got it properly cleaned um got any sort of grime off of there i will do a sort of before shot for you before we get to applying the shine armor graphene ceramic spray all right that is the contact clean done apart from being dried um, but before i do get to the drying process as promised i will do a little bit of a test of hydrophobics so just going to apply some water to the bonnet here with the hose so you can see that well, we don't really have a whole lot of hydrophobics going on right now. So that's a reasonably good baseline, a reasonably good before test to work with. Our roof isn't too bad. I mean, the roof gets the least amount of action. Um, I'll just hit that. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, the front gets the most amount of action. So that's to be expected. So yes, now I will get this dried off and then we'll move on to applying the shine armor. Okay, there we are nice and dry and looking good. So we are ready to move on to our shine armor graphene ceramic spray. So before we get into it, I'll just like go over what it does, the features that it lists on the back. So graphene ceramic spray, Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray is a highly concentrated, simple to use DIY ceramic coating that is ready to go out of the box. It is perfect on its own or as an added layer of protection for your current ceramic coating. This graphene ceramic spray has extremely powerful hydrophobic properties that deeply enhances your shine with an easy spray and wipe proof process that you have come to expect from shine armor features helps protect water spotting works to protect against bugs saps droppings etc less prone to scratches during the washing process more depth and clarity on surfaces easy to apply so all in all it sounds like an absolutely fantastic and very useful easy to use product and we are about to test it now Okay then, I will start on the bonnet. So I have two microfibers as per the instructions, one for applying, one for buffing off. So I am going to spray into the gray one, get it around here. So once it's on, you leave it for like one to two minutes and then buff off, which sort of translates to doing one panel at a time. So like I say, I will start off with the bonnet, get it on, leave it, buff it. So you can see that I am wearing gloves. You don't necessarily have to wear gloves. If you don't, just make sure that you give your hands a really good clean afterwards. Okay. So you can easily see it as it's being applied. Don't really have to overdo the amount that we put on. Uh, with these products, 
less is more. So I'm no longer seeing as much of a streak, so I'll reapply. So it's going on really easy, real fast, which is nice. We were comparing sort of earlier to like a paste wax type of product or a hard wax and just the application of this spray type is just so much quicker and so much easier. So I mean that's essentially it on the bonnet. Um, like I say, we need to leave it for one or two minutes. So, I mean, because that was so quick and so easy, I can probably move on and do another panel um, whilst we let that sit for a couple of minutes. So just as we are waiting here, um, I don't know how easy it is for you to see. There is a small streak left behind that is curing. Um, it does flash off to some degree. And another thing to note as well, I am of course doing this outside, but I don't know, you can, you can see that it's a reasonably nice day, um, but I'm also not in like direct sunlight. If it is very sunny where you're doing this, roll it into like your garage, do it in a covered area. Um, obviously if it's raining or if it's like cold or whatever, um, also do it indoors, don't do it outside because once this is on and we've buffed this down, we're gonna leave this for about four hours to do its cure. And uh, we don't want it to be exposed to the elements as Shine Armor says, whilst it is doing that cure. Now I believe it has been a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna grab my clean separate cloth and we are gonna buff this off. So I think we're good now. I think that is it all buffed off. You do need to give it a bit of effort to buff off. That just means that it has set on the surface, which is what we want. And uh, well, you can see the reflection of the clouds there above. Um, the depth of shine is looking absolutely lovely. So all I have to do now is repeat that exact same process on all of the panels on the car. There we are then, that is the whole car coated with the Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray. And some things that I have noticed, it did not take very much time at all. Um, because of the spray format, because of the way that we apply it, and I gotta say, it was easy on, easy off, which is another benefit. And the depth of gloss is absolutely fantastic. Hopefully it's coming across on camera, but every panel is absolutely gleaming now and that is awesome and for the amount of effort or I should say lack of effort getting these kinds of results and in such a short, short space of time is just really really sweet look at that real nice and yeah as well other things you know 
makes a carbon fiber really pop and I did apply it to the likes of these plastics down here and I feel like it really sort of darkened them a bit um, which is a nice thing it's like rejuvenating these sort of hard plastics which is also an added bonus so that is it um, in terms of application like I said earlier I do just have to wait for the four hours for it to fully cure before I allow it to get rained on or allow it to get wet um, but obviously it's you know as you can see a nice day um, but I do still have the hose out here uh, because I will set a little timer on my phone and come back after four hours and I will repeat the test that I did before on the bonnet so we can compare what it was before to what it is now with the shine armor graphene ceramic spray and just one other side note as well if I sort of stop moving hardly any of it has been used um, it really does go a long long way and this isn't even like a big bottle I mean you can see it compared to the size of my hand it's not that big and I've hardly used any of it and I have applied coating to like all of the body panels so I mean really really does go a long way um, part of that is just the nature of the product and part of it is in the way that uh, shine armor tell us to apply it by not spraying directly onto the panels it kind of avoids the temptation to over apply so make that up to shine armor making it last this long means that we have loads of applications even in this small bottle uh, which makes it really good value in fact Right then it has been probably a bit more than the four hours cure time the sun is starting to go down the day is drawing to an end so the only thing left to do is to grab the hose and to do the water test but before I do that I just want to I just want to say I don't know if it comes across on camera but there's a real nice depth to the gloss and almost a kind of warmth uh, which is just really really nice so anyway yes on to the hose test okay here we go so i mean it seems a little bit of a shame to do this um, because i will need to grab the drying towel and dry it off again but it's all in the name of science <laughs> so you can see now that water is just flying off of there So that's exactly what we want to see, the hydrophobic properties, the water just flying right off of there. There we are then, that is the product test complete of the Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray. And I gotta say, I am very, very impressed. It does exactly what it says it is going to do. It provides really good protection and it is very easy to use, very quick. And that's what I really liked about it, just how quick and easy it was to use and how little of it I used to get those results. Um, so this is gonna last for quite a long time. So it's absolutely fantastic value as well. And to have both ceramic and graphene in the same product in such an easy to use product it just is really really cool it can be your main protection it can be your top up you could use this every single time you wash your car it's that quick to use and you use that little of it that you know you might as well get that layered protection and yeah this is all the protection you're gonna need so a big thank you to shine armor for sending me this to try out and i hope you like it as much as i do and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please do like share and subscribe for more content to come very very soon thank you once again goodbye